It's us, it's the show. Uh, Here we are. I re-rendered the opening for the new mission and I did it in 60 frames as opposed to the 29 I normally do it in and now it looks weirdly smooth. Woohoo! Welcome back weird. to Nat 19. Devil's Might Surrender. Ward y'all is gonna have weird energy today. Devil's Might Surrender. <laughs> Fucking session 46, which is like if you took a 60 and took 14 off of it, that's where we are. Welcome. Uh, as we start, which is now, <laughs> what? <laughs> that was, I was just, I was just, good math. You, you did good math. Congratulations. <laughs> I think I can't do Damn math. It. I can do basic math. I can do reverse addition. <laughs> the Kickstarter, uh, what was it, yesterday? I think it was yesterday. The Kickstarter yeah, hit $150,000 Canadian, which what? is pretty incredible. So everyone give me your best woo. Woo! 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 Ah, we could have done better. Yeah, mm. yeah y'all could have done better. I gave I was basically an entire wall of session by myself. <laughs> we hit 150,000, which is great, which means we hit the stress goal. The, the stress goal? I mean, that's. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're okay. But We're also, <laughs> but <Correct>. also <laughs> the stretch goal where we are getting, uh, it's since last DMS, we haven't done a bunch of them. So we're getting more Adolan dice made. Uh, and we are getting uh, decks of cards, three, one for all the spells, one for all the basic monsters, and one for all the unique monsters. So uh, if you're on the Kickstarter or want to go do stuff, there are uh, add-ons that include dice, mouse pads of various different types and levels of safe for workness. Uh, there's uh, keychains of the Sword of Damocles and of Lyra. Uh, there's a heckin' gonna be phone stands eventually, once I get those in and I can confirm they're good enough to put up on there. There's gonna be little phone stands. Uh, pop, pop sockets? Pop sockets? We could get pop sockets made. Do you think people would want pop sockets? Do you think that'd be a cool thing to make? I don't know. It's a, it's I like them. Sock. They're good. <laughs> I, like they're I just think they're neat. I like our spouse pads. Oh, those things. Yeah. Uh, and then there's also the uh, the card decks that you can buy. So, kaboom, dab. It's going really good. It's really great. I'm very happy about it. So much, mirror dab. Went the other way. Oh shit. Dab. Fuck. Hey, Logan, I need, you, I need you to do me a favor right now. Mm. Can you try to high-five yourself? Just don't think too hard about it. Just do it. Damn it. Only you. <laughs> Only me. What? What? What was I meant oh, to do? You they missed, they missed right. last time. So during wits and crits, I tried to <laughs> high-five myself, and I freaking missed. Did you miss? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 it's just clapping. That's, that's all it yeah. is. I did it like uh, a the, there's rules to, yeah, you, There's rules to a self high five. If you clap, it's a clap. You yeah. got a hand above the head, and then the second hand yeah. comes up to meet in the other uh, side. Hit, hit okay. Him, you, know? you gotta look at the elbow. Done. You gotta you watch the I mean, elbow. It's still easy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but, was... but there are rules. I don't, I don't subscribe <laughs> to your fucking hot self high five gatekeeping. <laughs> This is a self high five. five. This is this my is a self, self high five. five gatekeeping. It's Barney Stinson self high five. You gotta like raise your hand, look up, be like, oh shit, you notice the hand, and then you high five yourself. But I didn't look at my hand. I just tried to do it, and I just biffed it. I don't. And I, was like, I don't Wait. have to. I don't have to look at it. I can. I just that I was behind, behind my, back. my back. I did it behind yeah. my back. <laughs> yeah. <it's> like, <laughs> it was. Uh, it yes. was an off day. Okay. <laughs> Barney Stinson, the foremost person to take advice from on anything. Yeah. On high fives, I would say so. Most other things, you're entirely correct. <laughs> uh, hey, Barney Stinson. Rabbit high fives. <laughs> <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> that was a good little. We already taught there. you a lesson once, Neil Patrick Harris. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, middle-aged man? How many times do I got to teach you this lesson, Neil? Yeah! <laughs> it, just like, it just sounds like you're chasing him in a cartoon. Neil, get back here! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> We've learned the very... <laughs> That's the sound of Theo using the dash action. <laughs> Except she misses all of them, so she falls in each I want to see! If I ever do something that has like Naruto style running in it, I'm very briefly, if I'm doing the sound design, gonna see if I can get away with doing like a slightly like EQ'd for like <laughs> footsteps. Because <laughs> I, yeah. I bet I could! I firmly believe that's how it's been done before. There's no <laughs> way there's been SMX guy who's like, yeah, it's just me, it's just me clapping really fast. Get out of catch me! <laughs> it's my ninja way! <laughs> so the Kickstarter hit $150,000 that have been placed firmly in our capable hands. <laughs> Rest assured, your money will be spent. Thank you very much. I hope by the end of the campaign we can make a mad dash to 200k. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to check and Vograce actually yeah. does have phone grippers. I, I remember. Oh. Yeah. They don't look like pop sockets exactly. They have this weird looking look to them. Yeah, they have like the they're hinges. Grippers. They're like hinged, but like they they look they look pretty close. It's funny because I looked up the freaking. I know I'm totally derailing them. Oh, sorry, it's okay. I, it's I, I needed to know. Don't, don't worry. We weren't on about anything important. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the pictures were different, so I'm guessing they got like freaking bonked by pop sockets or something because it's like a patented design, but I don't know. Oh, that makes sense. It's weird though, because I've definitely seen like other places do similar, just like pull out designs. So yeah, it it yeah, that's the thing. I I don't know. This is just assumption. I've never mm. seen this weird hinged look, but I've seen people do like shaped pop grips where they have a little accordion style like pop socket. Ooh, I thought yeah. they did that too. I'll uh, I'll look yeah. into those. Those might be a cool thing to just do outside the Kickstarter mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Anyhow, let's play. Uh, so, thank you for the Kickstarter. Please go check it out. There's still 10 days left on it. If you're watching this back on YouTube, there will still be uh, just shy of a week uh, to go and check it out. So please go to it. You can find the link down below. Uh, and if you're on Twitch, you can find it down below. And if you're anywhere this is happening, it's down below. It's, it's down there. <laughs> just, you'll find it. Just search. Just look around. You'll get there. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I have faith in you. It's down there. Not there. There oh, it is. Damn. No, what are oh, you damn. doing? No, not that one. <laughs> 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 but that is the out. link for Wits and Crits, which you should get your questions in for. Thank yes. you anyway. And also, so everybody knows, um, from now until the end of the month, all the Thursdays and Saturdays will be DMS. So come back for that. Woo. Okay, guys, let's get into this. It's Devil's Might Surrender, session 46. Is everybody the ready? See. Si. E. I captain. All right. I got it. I, I, captain! Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> he said he anyway. couldn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> the captain I guess it's hearing. Funny. Uh, yeah. All right, so my guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a little dice. I'd like to start off my D&D &D game sometimes with the rolling of numbers. So I was thinking I'd do that Makes today, sense. too. <laughs> One, two, three. Aaron! What happened last time? This is easy. Oh, boy, golly. Okay, well, this isn't going to take very long, so I've got a bonus for you. Uh, so, so, okay, so we fought a big guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, your bonus. <laughs> <laughs> you could have stopped there and been correct, but go on. Your bonus is that, did you know that one of the greatest forms of psychological warfare during World War II uh, that was used against the Japanese was the United States' ability to tactically deploy ice cream to their troops? What? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> there were boats in the U.S. Navy, and their only job was to make ice cream and give it to oh, soldiers. Oh, yeah, I heard and about that. When the Japanese thought... learned about it, they were so fucking sad because they were going through <laughs> so much, and these assholes were eating ice cream while yeah. burning they everything were... down. They were like, the Americans must have so many resources that they can just waste it on giving their soldiers free ice cream. And this remains to this day. We have tactically deployed Burger Kings in the Middle East. Anyways, that's it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this feels like both an Aaron and a manual. Uh, yeah. It feels right. I don't think the I left that the same way I went in. Aaron. <laughs> I feel like I left that different than I, than I found Never change, in. man. <laughs> I'm going to long Never rest the party. Change. Everybody, uh, go ahead and spend your hit dice real quick. He long rested the party and fucking killed me. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> All of my HP. Oh. All right, guys, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, everyone's made your fucking head guys. Especially you, Aaron. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my fucking god. Remember to save one, guys. No. Uh, why? You might need it later. For what? You never the know Pokemon what you might need League. it for. Exactly. See, Squeaky Ugh. gets it. The Pokemon League? Yeah, I'm the Pokemon 100. League. I'm a hundred oh, okay. HP off, and I still only and I only have two left. <laughs> I have I, um, zero left, and I've got over fifty. I have zero left. <laughs> I'm missing like fifty. There's a song I have none of rest. Left them for three more points. Off. Oh, song of rest! Everyone who wants that, drag it onto yourselves. Oh. There's that spanky three. It put me back into the. It put me into the green, yeah. so I'll take it. Hot, hot green three hit points. Oh, yes. Juicy. Listen, it could be one. Be grateful. It's technically correct. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Okay, party. All of you are still on board the Adramalek, the massive flying city that constitutes Machiavelli's ancient workshop, the thing that you guys pulled from the interstitial space between the demon world and the human world so that it would stop with the blizzard in and the portal making and the steam making, but it's doing the steam making, it's making everything hot. So you flew your plane over here, right over it, right on top, and we're like, we're gonna land, and then you crashed. You crashed onto it, and then you found your way onto a big old spider bus, which you didn't really realize was a spider bus at first. You tried to turn it on and it just took off running. Luckily it hit a computer and you used that to figure out the way to go. You went there, found a gondola, it was nice, you were on a gondola, and then Gino Angelo arrived. Not Gino Angelo, Gilgamesh Angelo <laughs> arrived. <laughs> and then Gino, big Gino showed up. So you've come. <laughs> Hello tiny Gino, he said, we do punching the, the gondola. Game, but it's a fucking skyscraper and a teeny little mouse. <laughs> Big big Gino punched little Gino and friends and threw his vehicle far across into the central workshop where he pounced down, proceeded to nuke everybody, mostly Niccolo, uh, and then everybody fought him and he was generously pulled apart by Marile. As of this happening, you guys are free to enter into the central workshop, the central cathedral-like massive, cathedral castle-like spire that constitutes the center of a Dramalek with the goal of trying to turn off its defenses so that Briar can stop floating in the ocean eating sea burgers. Which is what we've decided he's doing. Uh, because <laughs> we didn't know if I'd be done my burger and we needed an excuse to have him have his mouth full. But ah, now, now, it's, now it's stuck. All oh, geez. So, my guys, you guys stand at the edge of what appears to be a massive pit. Uh, this huge circular pit going down that have that in the center of which there's uh, these massive chains and supports that are holding a central structure that's kind of free floating in the center of this pit, uh, holding it in place like a suspended castle almost in the middle of a, a giant empty moat that plummets down to below a Dramalek. Uh, as you go there, there is a Strong feeling of steam and heat as all the heat being generated underneath is venting up through this hole somewhat, this massive, like, kilometer-wide uh, opening 
but it's not so much that you guys can't deal with it. Before you lays a bridge, a bridge that goes about four or 500 feet and then connects with the central structure. I have a feeling I know what the answer is, but my party, my friends, my devil hunters, my guys, what would you like to do? I jump in. Now, nah. jump in. <laughs> this is a little point of order before we get in because I'm gonna need every single one of these points I can. I would have had two <clears throat> rounds of devil trigger left. Can I Can I get the 2d8 plus hit HP back as well? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Also, everyone go up to uh, your maximum uh, style points because we finished. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just seven. Uh, seven, okay. Prof plus two. Yeah. Alrighty. Gino, as you look upon it, as you gaze forward and you see this massive cathedral-like spire raising up at the center, you are filled with a feeling of familiarity. There's a tingle that is just runs down like your fingertips and into the palm of your hand as if there's a weird muscle memory to this place, as if looking here reminds you of days spent working and crafting, things that you've not taken a whole lot of interest in in your life as Gino Angelo, but this place reminds you of what you would assume is the same feeling as like opening up your hobby shop and like going in and seeing your tools that you would use to work to to woodwork or what have you it's the same sort of this is my place I'm home here mm. okay. I think it's also hot so you feel hot it too. is it's very it's very it's very hot um I guess he'll heckin walk up to you should probably to test the, the bridge <clears throat> yeah he'll do that how and do you will... test the bridge by stepping on it okay bridge what's two plus two <laughs> as you it step fails. on More it meaning as long as it can hold the gino we should be all right it seems entirely solid as you step on it there's not even the creaking of metal it seems very very sturdy All right, let's go. Watch Does it anyone need any help crumble. after being a... Uh... <laughs> yeah, Theo steps, <laughs> Manuel steps on a lunch. <laughs> Manny knows. <laughs> Does anyone need any help after being uh, bombed? No. What? Not me. All right, <laughs> let's uh, get going then. I'm going to take stunned off of you. Thank you. <laughs> Nico is just fucking still standing there. Funny, it's like the moment I, that I, happens, I, I like then, Cody I just then gets it up better and healthier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh man, wow. What? My throat's oh. better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Been magically linked. <laughs> oh yeah, Odin. Yeah. Big fast. He's going to fucking throw Gilgamesh at him. No, uh, I can't. <laughs> they fall. <laughs> they fall. <laughs> Gilgamesh will They're return like... in Devil May Cry 4. Fucking <laughs> 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 Dante's down there somewhere, and it just fucking bonks him. I was like, oh, cool. I just lost my last huh. third set of gloves and griefs. <laughs> <laughs> How does he keep losing them? <laughs> oh god <laughs> there's actually a reason he gets a new set of like gauntlet and grieve based weapons every game and he sells them between games to pay rent <laughs> that's funny the best excuse uh, for scaling respect. down a character ever yeah mm -hmm. uh, they're like yeah you said they're they're gauntlet like things right and a mask, and I think also Greaves. So I guess you on, just thing that goes on your back, and then while you have it on, like <laughs> it mostly takes the form of gauntlets and these like boot-like Greaves. And whenever you're using them, a mask comes onto your face, uh, onto the like it's like a gas mask style thing. You're, it leaves your eyes uncovered, uh, and each of the gauntlets has a pile driver on it. I can give you the image if you want to save the image. Uh, I I found the image in the um, <clears throat> official art chat yes. here. Hayden so. just posted exactly what they look like in the call chat. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I actually oh, didn't I find time to do the proper kit and caboodling to stat them, so if we need to use them, we'll have to take their effects one at a time as we go. I'll have that done for okay. next time. 
I promise. Just All right. like the soundtracks. I promise. Just like the soundtracks. <laughs> <laughs> it's as guaranteed as Devil Trigger's to, about to show up on this playlist. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Uh, I, I grab the, I grab Gilgamesh. Are you, are you sure? I think you could get more out of it than me. Besides, I don't know how much I want to take from Machiavelli's place. So, hmm. have fun with those. Uh, if you're sure then, um, thanks. I swear. And All he right. will turn back ahead and continue walking. You're gonna look so cool. Oh, I bet. So cool. I will take said uh, Gilgamesh and uh, attune to it. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> okay, real quick. I'm just gonna check. I don't have an item, does. but yeah. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't really know. Mm -hmm. Um, so just remember that while you have them, uh, they're based on your strength. Um, mm -hmm. pretty strong. Do, 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 do. When you make a thrown weapon attack with it, you can choose to hang on to it and be pulled on. Oh, Whee! I think that's uh, leftover from Veilfar. Whenever I changed the template. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, you know no. what? Yeah, don't just the, the fucking strength of a demon. It is incorrect. It is a different thing. Hold on, I'm gonna read right now. Oh. I'm gonna find the item entry in my thing, because you can't throw the gauntlets. It's not a. It's, <laughs> it's just not a thing. Um, yeah, we like were reading a, that, and I assumed it was like a rocket punch no, situation. Okay, so yeah, what, that's <laughs> what that's meant to say? Sorry, what that's meant to say is well attuned to Gilgamesh. Your strength score is increased by two plus its enhancement oh. bonus. This can raise your strength above 20, but no higher than 24. Well attuned to it, you also gain oh. a bonus to your AC equal to its enhancement bonus. Oh. <laughs> Fucking Eric hears that. Junior's like, oh, yeah, you actually are. Uh, oh, well, I'll take that back, on. actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you I feel like back? one of the two I things would... he'd get from it. <laughs> like... Do you, we read do over you want, it, and we we, yeah. we read over it. We came to the conclusion it's like nah. Listen, not everything might be accurate, apparently. <laughs> so it's, it's basically, I'm fine. You keep it. It's basically just okay. that. So your strength increases okay. by right now just two, two. and oh. it can only go up two because my strength will be twenty four. Well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Um, enhancement bonus would be cool for my AC though. So, right now it has no enhancement bonus though. Yes, what's a, assuming I get one at some point. You gotta, maybe. you gotta talk to Briar. We'll yeah. Here, I put, I put it in your inventory. I'll have to actually put the effects on it, but there it is. Uh, but right now I will very quickly throw the um, strength two awesome. and uh, AC, we'll just put zero, even though it'll be something eventually. There you go, mm -hmm. boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> take the Quite. setting off of me that makes my strength plus two. Uh, is that from that? Yeah, that's what you you put it up to 22 last game. Oh, I'm a little silly guy. Just a silly little guy. Silly little dude. Alright, I'll... Uh, where's that effect, Gino? Where is it? Uh -huh. Got it. It's gone. Hell yeah. And you, Arden. You bastard <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's you what you were going to son say of a like bitch. you are you son of a bitch there you go <laughs> strength 2 your strength is up 24 strength Woo! I'll take it why am I resisting bludgeoning piercing flash? I was going to ask that I was scared to for some reason is that not you a thing that you should have uh, we'll get rid of that you I don't spell. remember what you used the spell during the last time. Oh, was it Blade Ward? That might have yeah. been it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't. I don't remember having. Like Why that. am I made of steel? <laughs> Why am I? I mean, I'm happy metal? to be made of steel, but I. You should let them keep it forever. So <laughs> yeah. <you must laughs> oh. Aaron, could you do me a favor? Not at all. There's Tell apparently no. there's apparently something at the door that says it's for Izzy. Could you go get it for me I real quick? It. Thank you. Oh. 
Everybody else, I'm assuming Manny goes along with what you're doing, what do you want to do? Crossing that bridge. Crossing that yep. bridge. Yeah. You guys oh, walk across this uh, coppery, metallic bridge, uh, walking the length of the three or four hundred feet it constitutes to the massive uh, cathedral-like, almost An Orlando-esque uh, huge doors to this metal cathedral. As you get forward, this place seems more reverent than the area around it. It seems like this place was built in a way that reminds you more of how classic, like, demon, uh, d uh, demonological places are built. Like, it it feels religious. It feels more like mm. an ancient church than it does, like, a metallic uh, workshop of any kind. As you go towards it, the doors, huge as they are, large enough that the Gilgamesh Angelo would have been able to walk through them, lay open, and uh, the passage inside is a long, dark tunnel. <coughs> Let's just hope oh. there's no more of him. Hello! 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 Hello? Shutting down the tunnel. <laughs> oh. Um, do I have anything here? Um. I don't think I have anything that can help here. So. Yeah. Uh, shall we just go? Forward. Mm -hmm. Forward. Anyone got any light? Uh, Oops, your nose, you see light. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, Rudolph, with your nose so bright. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never join the reindeer games now. <laughs> <laughs> My reindeer games. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, uh, I, I guess I lead the way, uh, through the, through the tunnel. With Follow the Arden's nose. My Perhaps note. talking about the Smash 2000 hit reindeer games. <laughs> what? Directed by John Frankenheimer. Did, did you get <laughs> it in? Box office, 32.2 .2 million USD. Yeah. Thank you. Where'd you put it? Uh, it's just on the couch upstairs. Did, okay, you, did you. you want it, want it? Yeah, it's mine. But I can get a lot after. I just wanted to be oh, inside. Okay. It's good. Why does why does why does Manny have an encyclopedic knowledge of like not only movies numbers? but how well they did? Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's amazing. Categories. It's categories. He's got uh, the power. I've got the power. Uh, yep, leading the way. Uh, looking Follow out for Arden's traps glowing stuff. nose. Uh, Seeing if anything uh, pops up. Okay. I'd like everybody to roll me perception checks as you move forward. I'm getting back into game. Fantasy Grounds crashed on me. Oh, that's crazy. That's insane. That that's just happened. ridiculous. You're hysterical. Calm yourself. <laughs> 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 hmm. Do I even need to roll? Listen here, you. <laughs> That's My right. God! You throat resting <laughs> I got bitch! Less than half of what you got with a fifteen on the die. <laughs> oh my God! She got a thirty-five. She got a thirty fucking five. Nicolas third. Seventeen. Nicolas really third good. eye opens. <laughs> he can see through time. <laughs> it's all right. I see us succeeding in the future. Oh, is that the Logan? <laughs> is that the Logan? That is the Logan. <laughs> reality. Pulls out magistrate. <laughs> he's a bunch Somehow of I knew he'd come people. to this. <laughs> he's a bunch of people around a table. Two of them are sleeping. This is the only way to win D and D. <laughs> <laughs> Reality. As you absolutely reality reasserts itself. As you guys move forward, Niccolo, uh, with the light and you have dark vision. It's bright in here. <laughs> <laughs> Looking around, Niccolo, you it's not what you see that matters, but as you move through these chambers and you pass through the the huge archways, uh, continuing down this relatively straight tunnel that heads towards what you see in the distance to be a large circular uh, chamber. You, it's not what you see that catches your eye. 
which is a strange thing to say. I guess it's, it's what you hear that catches your ear. <laughs> Today's weird. <laughs> you hear. It's the right, Logan. I understand. You just keep going. <laughs> it, gets, uh, it just gets better the more you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> so... You start hearing in the distance the sound of crackling electronics as if <sighs> wires in the walls are short-circuiting. And every once in a while, Niccolo, you hear what sound like small voice clips, what sound like a, a distorted voice saying not more than two words at a time, but you just hear this um, almost feeble elderly male voice distorted through whatever is causing its voice to echo through the walls as if they're inside the walls. And uh, the rest of you, it's dull enough that you can't hear it. You just hear very like... But spotted, lay back, and to talk, construct. Uh, uh G Gino. Huh? Uh, the, the walls are, are speaking. The walls what? are speaking? Do I hear it too? He's in the walls. <laughs> He's in the goddamn walls! Hey, shut up! It sort of sounded like some kind of um, an old an old man. Do I, uh, listening for it, do I now hear it as well, having been pointed out? Roll me perception again. With your plus three. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, if you're not 20. I'll listen stylishly. <laughs> you're gonna listen stylishly. Oh, no! <laughs> Gino, Gino, like, puts his hand up to cup one of his ears to listen, and then after about 30 seconds realizes no ears. So that's not gonna do anything. Have ears. <laughs> what about you, <laughs> Derry? <laughs> It's, you, uh, you hear the, me John Cena it sounds to you, as you <laughs> as you strain to listen, you can hear the crackling electronic noises, but whatever it is that's being described as a voice, kind of just feels like it's blending in with those. Like it just, occasionally you think you hear like a <laughs> kind of noise, but you're like, no, that's just wires. They're just fizzling. Uh, yeah, I don't hear nothing. Just some wires. Kind of a, some kind of an, an, old, an old man, uh, but it's spotty. Uh, not uh, perfect. Hmm. Hmm. I don't entirely understand what it's saying. Some something <clears throat> about uh, Spartan, Spar maybe Sparta. Maybe Sparta. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, if if they're talking about Sparta, do you think they they're talking about Dante? Not that he's here. I don't know. I, don't I mean, be. this place was like, wasn't it attacked by Sparta or something like that at one point? Mm. Yes. Yeah. So, I don't know. Could be old recordings or something. Mm. Only one way to find out. Just, uh, yeah, I will keep my ears out. Hmm. Well, you can only keep them out. It's not like they're inside your head. Well, I could cover them up with uh, this cloak I got. Aha. Why would you do that if you want to keep your ears out? Hmm. Yeah. You have a, you have a point. Actually, I mean, like a bu most of your ears inside your head is just the big flappy bits that are on the out. Wait, really? Yeah. Whoa. You're so smart. Yeah. <laughs> Cover his mouth <laughs> again. <laughs> I need glasses made you smart. Uh -huh. but, uh -huh. <laughs> How about we get a move on then? Okay. Let's go, Mini. <laughs> I'll just, uh, Niklo will just be like listening. Like he'll be basically <clears throat> letting everybody else like look forward. He will be walking behind just sort of trying to focus on it in case anything else is said. Mm -hmm. Roll me another perception check. Uh, roll, roll me an investigation check, we'll say, for trying to discern exactly what you're hearing. Roll me an investigation check, you specifically. This one will Aww. be a lot less impressive. Oh, well. Uh, I like those. Only a 19. Uh. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Poultry. Uh. <laughs> Poultry. Chicken with a monocle. Sorry, guys. I really <laughs> fucked this one up. 
I'll kill Yeah, the best you hear is you just hear the... You try to figure out what's being said, and you kind of piece together the way you're hearing are fragments of uh, sentences that are cutting in and out. Like, there is an order to them that makes sense. Uh, but you don't really piece together the exact words, just snippets that are along the lines of... But it is... A sin... Coming... No! They're very upset. Can I, I, think tell they said, I think they said. I think they said Briar at one point. I said what? I'd let you go, you little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> Can I try to listen for what Nicolo's been like? Things I want to try to listen. Yeah. <laughs> Nicolo's not fucking telling us what he's fucking hearing. I'll kill you anyway. I you... No, I, 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 tell you, I said the things that make sense. Based on your previous perception check, you couldn't make out the voices to begin with. <laughs> Um, so, you can't piece together what the voices are saying if you can't hear the voice. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. He will, he will spend, he will spend, like, uh, he will spend, like, a, a time trying to just explain what few words are in that, but it's, it's again, mostly their angry old man voice talking about... At Briar, I think it said at one point, and Sparta, and they're coming, and ah, <laughs> ah. Hey, and ascend. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Is Manny aware of the Devil Trigger song? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Does it even exist in universe? <laughs> what a weird universe this is. Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Wait, should we tell Briar that that we like are good and and the big big fuck you guy is dead? Was that the thing stopping him or was it a drum were, uh, stopping him? Was, I can't remember. Thought he was just on a plane boat. Oh, he got it's shot good. down. Uh, no, he it got might shot not down. have just been. It might not have just been the Gilgamesh. It could have been more things. But we could let him know if any of you would like to try. Yes. Give, 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 give me. Also, tell him that some old man is saying his name. Okay, give me, give me, give me, give me. She's like reaching grabby hands for the fucking radio. Yeah, there goes exactly. a manual that has that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you Manny. Roll me a D100. Yes. I can see it. What? 34. As you go to it and you get the radio and you start, like, you turn it on and you try to get it to the frequency it has to be at, there's an insanely loud hissing sound that comes out of it. Uh, roll me investigation, Fio. Oh, oh boy. I'm going to put a strong point in this. No, okay. You investigate stylishly. That means there's silent hill monsters around us. Silent who now? Yeah. See this? I'm so glad I rolled a three because that gets rid of the, the minus three of my investigation because I'm so there's a, there's a button to Oof. use to, to make that automatic. Well. You, I, I, you yeah. hear from it. You 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 all hear from the, the radio. What sounds like likely what Nicolo was describing is if the radio was picking up whatever frequency it was being uh, broadcast on, but it is still very muted and distorted and unclear. You just hear a, a garbled mess of, And if he's going to come, then I'm going to start after a sin, but Brian, and if I pray, won't allow, but I must. Yeah, that's it. Did I hear Mundus in there? Yeah, they, they said like, Mundus attack. Briar, I can't remember the rest. That stuff hmm. is horrible. Yeah, if they're talking about like, I don't know, if this voice is like Maki or who now, um, and they're like talking about Briar, they're probably like super pissed at Briar because like, you know, Briar, Briar, then fuck things up, you know. If it's so Mundus, not Mundus. Uh, Fucking Machiavelli. 
If it's being picked up on here, perhaps it is uh, a recording of sorts. Uh, does Pito know anything about this? Pito, you recognize that voice? I do. Distorted as it is, it appears to be the voice of Machiavelli. I was unaware of the final events that transpired, but Machiavelli was always connected intrinsically to this entire structure. If he died, and if something had caused the system to glitch, it may be echoing his final statements or thoughts infinitely. Yeah. Makes sense. I will be happy to purge that from the system once I'm in it. Thank you. And you know we'll keep on walking. So no with more of a purpose. You can still do that if you want. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You get it to the right frequency. The voice Woo! goes away. Oh thank God. There's already voices in my head. <laughs> <laughs> you just you shit, you turn the knob as you hum that, and as you get to the right frequency, you just hear. <laughs> oh hey. Hi, are you okay? We killed the, the the big the big fuck off guy, the big fuck you Angelo dude. Oh, you got him. Yeah, we fucking got them. Morley made them explode. It was so cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, she's so cool. Yeah, it's wet here. Can you, like, it, was it a drum elect that didn't want you up here, or was it... Oh, yeah, uh, the whole thing is going to try to shoot me down. Okay, I, I was, I wasn't sure if we could, like, make sure you could, you, you could get up or not if we killed the, the big Angelo dude. But, okay, uh, we're, we're going to make our way towards, uh, the, the, I guess, control panel, I think? Uh, so Pito can get in there and we can, like, make the Machiavelli voices stop. Other uh, what? Oh, so like, we can like hear Machiavelli's voice, like the uh, remnants or something is what I understand, I think. Um, it's like his last moments on loop or something and Peter's gonna make it go away. And he said something about Mundus, something about attack and something about you. And then screamed, no, maybe, I don't know. Oh yeah? What do you say about yes. me? I don't know, it, it was just... Yeah, that sounds like him. Did that take an impression? Yeah, I haven't heard his voice in a very long time, but that sounds like he's like, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> yeah. I haven't taken a drink in over 500 years. Ooh, I'm too busy inventing <laughs> stuff. Yeah. That kind of like what it was. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Alright, cool. Okay, well, I'm glad you're okay. I know you're wet. We'll, we'll try to deal with this. I am so concerned that there could be like a, a shark or something, though. So if you want to hurry, that well, would be we're going slow. as fast as we can. Okay. Okay, I just wanted. I wasn't sure if we could like get you out today yet, but okay, we'll work. We'll work as fast as we can. Um, don't eat soggy burgers. They don't taste good. Or soggy nuggies. I'll do my best. You ate the soggy burger, huh? I'll do my best. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll work fast. Bye. 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 Embrace the darkness. Speaking Hello, of soggy, Briar. he's probably very soggy. <laughs> yeah, he said it was wet. Oh, and that I can sound like Machiavelli. <laughs> it's pretty good. Thank you. He must That's... be very pruny. <laughs> Might be in... Uh... If there's anything else that's going to stop us, it should be in the room up ahead. But uh, perhaps we can just find a way up or down or... Gino, do you have any I idea where we need to go beyond just forward? Do we need to go up or down or... Do I get that kind of feeling? Roll me a wisdom check. Okay. Wisdom! Wisdom. Wisdom check. Check. Hey! hey. Nice. You feel like you have a sense memory of where to go in this place? 
From what you remember, you should be able to go into the main area, and then there should be a fairly large elevator that, in normal circumstances, can take you basically anywhere in this massive facility, including, if it's working, it could take you up to the uh, main control chamber, the center of what you might describe as, like, the operating system of this place, even though, you know, it was built over 2,000 years ago, so they probably wouldn't describe it with so, such such modern terms, but we're going to call it that for ease. Uh, so it should be fairly easy to get to. The main defenses for this place were the Gilgamesh Angelo outside, and based on what you've been told and what you remember, you guys should be past them. That should be it. But also I'm the DM, and you can't trust what I say. So. I think I it's know true. the way. You can't trust anything you say. You should be past most of the defenses, but keep your guard up anyway. All right. Move forward then, as far as we can get. The evil Logan is always watching us. Hey. Always <laughs> planning something. Oh, it's it's less he's watching us and more he's, he's explaining everything that we're doing to like a group of other people, but not like in the same room as him. It's, it's, it's on like a computer. Nico Gosh. goes on like this for some time. <laughs> <laughs> I think he needs help. I, I think he's losing his marbles. Uh, you should find him. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. We we keep going. You guys, keep going. Going. <laughs> you guys eventually move forward. Nico, uh, because not Nico. Though. First of all, what I didn't mean, Nicolo. Second of all, Nico, Gino. Nico, Nico. Gino, mm. since you are yeah. <laughs> presumably sort of leading the charge here, since you have a general memory, could you please roll me a survival check? Okay. Uh. Remember, so you have Arden's nose to see. It's true. It's true. Mm. Oh, Thank God for that. No oh, come on. <laughs> you wander for oh. a bit. What? No, I was just, I was, I was griping. Go on. <laughs> oh. You wander for a bit. You go the way that you think will take you to where you need to be. But rather than going through the winding hallways of this cathedral and ending up in the central chamber, you emerge into a significant looking room that looks... Almost like an extensive uh, mad scientist's version of an ER. As you come into this room that is mostly made of the same coppery metals and materials, you see uh, tubes, uh, transparent tubes filled with this bubbling blue liquid running along all the walls, ca casting this, um, this, this soft but dull light onto the rest of the room, and you see there are ancient bodies of Angelo armors, of what looks like demons that have rotted away to being nothing but the exoskeletons they might have had, and also human skeletons littering this area with the faint buzzing of machinery going as whatever happened in this room that looks like some kind of surgery room, almost. Uh, it The systems appear to be constantly trying to get back into it, but can't. Weird. Mm. Maybe ask Peter what happened here? Cause holy crap. What was this? This was... Is this where they made... the armor? This is, um... beyond the purview of what I had access to in the... Uh... I was sealed away, if you recall. I was not allowed to stay within the systems for very long after my creation. However, from what I know of this room... This is where one of two things occurs. Either the repair or treatment of any of Machiavelli's allies, or the deconstruction of organic beings so they can be refitted with demonic technology to create what would eventually come to be known as the Angelos. Oh. It's like a spooky maternity ward. Yeah. <laughs> he's right. <laughs> he, he's not wrong, no? Never been. Well, once. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, they were killing people to make into the armors that we fight? Mm. Yeah. I guess so. Demons and humans and anything they can get their hands on, it seems.
I think we took a wrong turn somewhere. And Gino will... He will turn around and begin trying to find his way again. Gino, you hear a what you take to be a distorted <laughs> voice as though by the PA systems in the area ring out, but after a moment it occurs to you that you're not hearing it out loud, you're hearing it almost as if it's coming from the same sort of place in your head that Pito is. Uh, you hear um, a, an abrupt but distinct Both sides have yielded so many wonderful results. Humans and demons laid bare by this foolish squabble. We have so much to work with and so much time to perfect our craft. He like stops and holds his head when he when he hears that. What was that? You know. See Manny with his hand on the jaw of one of the skeletons, and he's like, "Foul, tarnished. <laughs> Someone <laughs> must extinguish thy flame." <laughs> Manny, get away from that! What? You don't know what it's been. Manny, 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 it's been right here. here. Get away from here. Manny, hold my hand. Hands, to make any dang hands, sense? Okay, here go. Hands, 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 no fun hands, today. Hands, here go. Hands. Take the hand. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Just take both his hands, like. <laughs> We're holding hands now, and you're keeping your hands to my hands. How am I going to become the Elden Lord? <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you all right, Gino? You are uh, stop there. <clears throat> I'm hearing a voice. Voice. <sighs> Let's keep moving. <laughs> and he will begin marching off. Are you sure we could steal their stuff? We probably got some around here. We can loot later. Roll me another survival check, Gino. Come on. It's even worse. Oh. As you continue to lead the others around, you eventually find your way to what looks like a, uh, uh, a battlement on the outside. You find yourself at a, a section where there are large sealed windows behind them, the same sort of uh, cannons that you had initially found whenever you went into the first of the towers and you were climbing to the top of it. The spiked demonic uh, cannons that have um, these like piercing grips that fire off of them. Uh, as you head towards it and you look at them, you see some of the windows have bulkheads that have closed over them. Some of them are destroyed and lay open. Some of these cannons are armed and have uh, ammunition in them. Some of them are destroyed and lay on the ground. And as you look at them, you once again hear in the back of your head, Come to us, foolish! If they had just allowed us more time, then we could have prepared better! No matter... I had prepared enough. My weapon is ready. Get out. Okay. You, you all right there, Gino? Don't shut up. It's in my head. Just... <sighs> Him. Machiavelli. Hmm. What's he saying, do you know? But how happy he is that things are going so well. Kill so many humans and demons. Make stuff out of them. This obviously isn't the place either. Hmm. I Should thought I again? Away. Sure. We're looking for a central uh, area with uh, another one of those elevators that we have seen, perhaps? Maybe yeah. everyone could keep an eye out, maybe. Less instinct and more, uh... 
yeah. checking everywhere we can see. Yeah. All the peepers. He will begin trying to find his way again, but also just fucking not rely exclusively on it. Seems to me like it's leading check time. <laughs> and Gino will be the one doing the lead. No oh, shit. And I'm gonna switch the people whose tokens are still double trigger back to not double trigger. Oh say. shit! Oh fard! Oh, there's my hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. What? Now give me back your hands. Uh, oh, my hands. <laughs> give them little squeezies. <clears throat> okay. Okay, real quick. Can I? Uh, can I? Summon my virtuous hound real quick. Yeah. Cool. The boof. Ah, oh, fuck. We're going to fall again and it's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like cars. They can't survive more than like 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but the boof actually sounds like a great name for a dog. The boof. Like not, not boof. The boof. The boof. Yeah, no, a very distinguished title. It's pretty good. So, um... I'd like everybody to please make the roll I'm about to hit you with, and Gino, uh, hold off for a second on making it, okay? Mm-hmm. All righty, so You're we're gonna, gonna hit go. us. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you. Oh, you always hit us. I no. know. No. I wouldn't no. have to if you just no. learn. And you know, <laughs> please us. make this check. No. Oh, investigation. No. Okay. Yeah, investigation. No! Oh, okay, I thought it was the one. <laughs> Oh, Sorry, Gino. Boy. <laughs> yeah, oh. this is bad. <laughs> Thank God for Manny. Manny well, and Arden uh, really carrying yeah. it here. Uh, nope, I failed. Um, <laughs> oh, well. Uh, could everybody... Okay, so... Gino, make this with a... Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Negative two. Cool. Have, do a negative two and roll. We believe we're lost, in guys. You. I think we're lost. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear in the back of your head the voice would be like, Where am I? I have no idea <laughs> <of> this place. <laughs> Walk through a door, you're back at the fucking resort on the island. She's like, How did this happen? <laughs> it's like a fucking Scooby Doo house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quantum yeah, you, tunneling. As you continue to search around, uh, you and weave through the hallways, you continue to hear these echoes, almost observations of things that you see as if they were happening. You see the, the skeletons and the remnants of what seems like an ancient siege on this place, uh, and the thoughts in the back of your head continue to describe it as if it's reacting to the siege. Uh, in particular, as you continue to move around, you hear one final... I should have known the defenses of this place would be no good. I gave him too much access, too much familiarity. Uh, well, regardless of Briar's trepidations, I must arm myself. I must find the Geno armor. I must transplant myself, or everything will be for nothing. He will just shake his head and try to ignore the voice. And he will try to fruitlessly find his way. After wandering around for a bit, you do eventually come across a large door that is with huge, uh, massive double doors that are swinging open, creaking almost pathetically in the wind despite their size, the, the gentle breeze causing them to scratch and creak against the metal of the floor. And as you look into it, you see a massive central chamber that appears to be a column. Uh, the room itself is about has a, is, is a circle with about a 100-foot radius that appears to just be a empty shaft that goes straight up into the darkness above. And in the center of it, you see something that you very pretty re readily recognize to be what seems to be a lift. To be seems. Seems to be. To be seems. There we go. I think, we, I think this is it. We're gonna have to fight something, aren't we? Yep, weapons ready. Yep. <laughs> I don't have my hands. 
they don't belong to me anymore. <laughs> Good. You can have your for the better. Back. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'll never cut off your hands. Just hold them. <laughs> yeah, we said the they were yours. Yeah, and once everyone's on, he'll go up and oh. turn it on. You find a panel, not unlike similar ones you've seen under uh, in the different towers. You put your hand on it. You feel Pito in the back of your brain reach out to connect with the systems that are here. And after a moment, there's a <laughs> as a roughly 30-foot radius section of the floor that you are on pulls away from the ground. You see these streams of light as if they're pulleys and whatnot uh, come down on four different points, equidistant points on the, on the uh, disc that you're effectively floating up on now, and they seem to guide it as it begins to move up. Eventually, you guys raise up into the darkness enough that the shaft thins out to form walls that just barely give enough room for this disc to continue rising. Unlike before, there is no passage of windows, there are no views of the frost hells and of the area outside. It is simply metal all the way up with lines of lights, strings of lights around the edge that pass by you. At first, most of them are broken, but as you go up, they seem to be more and more functional, as if the higher you go, the less in disrepair this place is. And as you are continuing to rise, Gino, you once again hear in the back of your head. You paltry, small-minded fool! Don't you understand what he means to do? Briar, you're soft! Humanity is not worth sabotaging our work! Get out of my way! And you feel anger flooding your mind enough that it almost causes you to physically buckle and fall. <clears throat> Shut up! And he will try to just sh shut it out as best he can stand up and resist the feeling roll me a charisma check <clears throat> uh, oh boy okay yeah okay. oh can I do something yeah what do you want uh, to do I would like to cast this uh, it's probably not the same at all uh, I want to cast protection from evil and good on uh, on Gino to try and help him with this in any in some sort of capacity. As you cast it on him, and you do, without any problem, it doesn't really stop the feeling, Gino, that you feel in your head, leading you to believe that whatever this is is coming from within, not from without. Hmm. Mm hmm He's not possessed, right? Doesn't seem to be. Okay. He don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the protection from evil and good would, you know, help with that. So, oh, mm. ye don't know. I, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I would if it didn't work. <laughs> it's like, well, not possessed. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he acknowledges that you've done that and stands upright. Thanks. You're right there. I don't like this. I'm feeling things. Hmm. Things that aren't mine. We're almost there, buddy. It is possible you may be experiencing memories. Yeah. Machiavelli's body, even though it lacks his essence, is bound to be here somewhere. Your proximity to what may have originally been your body may be causing you to remember things from your final moments. It's not mine. When Pito talks, can we hear it, or is it only Gino can hear it? Uh, he can talk out loud if he wants to. Um, we'll say for the purposes of this, that was just to Gino. Gotcha. Yeah. He says that, and he uh, just kind of taps his foot impatiently, waiting for this thing to get to the top. Such tall towers. These elevators take forever. They're of Hello. indeterminate size. 
Like 10 million me's. At least we don't have to go through That's a lot of you. Uh, we don't uh -huh. have to go through different planes or whatever with this one. You guys hear a loud metallic clunking sound as if something has broken free from something else. And you all see that from up above you, something that appears to be partially illuminated is falling down the elevator shaft. Something very large appears to have a humanoid shape to it. Begins plummeting Here down towards the <laughs> elevator. Draws an axe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone, back up. All right. As this, thing, as this thing begins to plummet, as what appears to be uh, an Angelo armor that is larger than average ones, that appears to have multiple arms on its body, something you haven't seen before, falls down and crashes into the center of all of you. I'd like everyone to not roll initiative, on account of the fact that as the dust clears, you see that whatever just fell is completely inert. We and, did it! And lays dead in the center of the elevator. Oh. Take his orbs! <laughs> 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 you drop any. Dang it. <laughs> Do you think the uh, spaghetti monster did that? Spaghetti monster? Oh. Nicola would have sensed it. Yeah, the, the <laughs> that Don spaghetti monster. What? Don uh, hold on, hold on, I'll check. Hold on, I'll check. Spaghetti. I'm gonna use my awareness. <laughs> the al dente. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's instead of Dante, it's dente. Uh, it's, it's, dente. it's code for Dante. <laughs> uh, what's the range on your your awareness again? Uh, da, da, da. Uh, I believe it's miles. Uh, let me look. <laughs> well, hard to get around. It's like that. a mile, I think, or five. It's it's either like a mile or five. I can't remember. Da, 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 da. Besides, the spaghetti <clears throat> monster only appears when you break the pasta. How do you think? Uh. How, how do you think you stay floating within you within shoot? five miles? Yeah, I got you it. do sense a demonic presence somewhere below you. Uh, but it's kind of not of, above us, not above you, kind of muddled. Oh, yeah. As as mm. I'm like looking up, it's like, no, I don't think that was the uh, the spaghetti monster. I can sense it. Mm -hmm. Like, like, if you just jump and shoot, you just stay up. Maybe, maybe like the bullets like make you like whoosh up in the air. <laughs> no, ow. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Maybe you also don't do that on, on the lift. It comes up faster than the regular ground because it's going up while I'm going down. Oh, yeah, that's what. That's probably why it didn't work. We can try it later. Yeah, <laughs> let me just mark off some ammo here. Just gonna step <laughs> over toward, just gonna step over toward where, uh, where Marley is. I can sense it, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. No, she just, like, earnestly nods. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just because you're correct doesn't mean you're right. The very few times I did break the pasta, you were suddenly not hungry. <laughs> As the al dente was coming for you. <laughs> now you're just looking to start a fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to warn me if the al dente is coming because it sounds real scary from what they told me. Right, right, kiss. Don't kiss, worry, there's, kiss. there's nothing, there's yeah, nothing well, about us. Why would us. they do that? <laughs> I, I don't know, because... I don't know. Kissing might be nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> Give him a big old smooch on the cheek. Just said, Mwah! <laughs> <laughs> it uh, might be. The lift passes the time, into <laughs> a very large room. It leaves up from the shaft that it has been climbing, uh, and it enters into a large, massive, circular room that is effectively just a giant sphere, and for a moment continues to rise up into just <clears throat> nothingness. Until eventually, from the walls around you, you see sections of platform begin, like, breaking free from the walls, like, leaving it, um, shifting out and coming together in the center, uh, kind of like Forerunner tech from Halo coming together floating to form a central disc-like platform that the disc you're on 
rises up into the center of and connects, leaving you on what appears to be this workshop-like uh, interconnected uh, section, sphere of controls and systems and wires and tubing that now connect out to the walls in the middle of this massive empty chamber. Mm. We have reached the control room. Good. He will begin making his way forward quickly. From here, if you integrate me into the systems, there should be no firewalls or any blocks left in my way. I will be able to stop a Dromalek from doing what it's doing, stop it from generating heat, disable its defense systems to allow Briar up here, and we can work on fixing this situation. And save the universe. And save the oh. universe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I rub my cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it again. No, there's cooties. I'll do it again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fly ten feet up. Oh. <laughs> Just gently serpent of lusts back down <laughs> <laughs> just just you see like the little it just slithers out like a little snake and goes like it's like a little manny balloon <laughs> like a little balloon <laughs> i like to believe she can do little menial things of, out of will it leashes <laughs> it just slithers out like a little looney tune snake <laughs> It's a, it's a telepathic okay. parasite that does whatever you want, so yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. no one's gonna tell you you can't. It just squirmy worms out. <laughs> Once I am inside the system, Gino, which task would you like me to focus on first? Get rid of the heat. Can do. And then lower the defenses for Briar. You walk over, as you walk towards the edge, Gino, bits of metal seem to change and rearrange themselves into what looks like a complex control panel in front of you, which has a similar interface that you've touched before to put, um, to have Pito integrate with things. Everything in this area, this, this entire thing that you're walking through, the way it assembles and disassembles itself, it feels very familiar to you, uh, and to everyone else as well. It kind of reminds you of the way the Rumblejack works every time... Uh, Briar takes you inside of his little workshop. It constructs and deconstructs and expands itself exactly the same way this place does. Hmm. Make his way to the compooper. You know, Gino. We could kill them all. If I've been playing the long game this entire time, and I mean to do you harm, this would be just about the point where I'd have to reveal that, wouldn't it be? Peter? Yes. That Just constitutes do humor, thing. doesn't it? It would be <laughs> ironic. Just shut up and do the thing, please. Okay. <laughs> you, put your hand, you put your hand on the surface and you feel Pito exit your mind and enter into the systems. I love how that had just such a Pito, I, Pito, I swear to fucking God. <laughs> like, if you start this shit right now, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Pito, I do not need this right now. I'm going to shit. Wouldn't I'm it be crazy? If I, if I don't have mouths and I'm going to shit. Wouldn't it be crazy if I was secretly Machiavelli the entire time and you had arranged to return my consciousness to the system? I am disengaging the heat vents, lowering the heat outside to prevent the evaporation of the body of water under us. It would be funny, though. Teehee. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> that, that I know! <laughs> Thank you, Tristan, for your amazing timing. <laughs> Wait, is that what you're laughing at? Yeah. 
<laughs> just the distant fucking cough. Just <clears throat> <laughs> Disengaging. It's Dante. The, lowering the system's heat will take some time. It appears to be resisting what I'm trying to do. It must be generating this heat because there's another system running that requires it to uh, conduct so much power. However, lowering the defenses is very easy. I have done so. Okay. How long for the heat? I'm going to have to figure out what system it is that is jammed on and is taking this much power. The heat is being created because Adromalek is running at maximum effectively. If I cannot find what system it is that is trying to generate that much energy and why, then I will not be able to stop all of the heat that is currently affecting the surrounding area. Is there uh, I'm figuring it out. Is there any hmm. way to uh, retrieve Briar? Um, not really. I, you can I let can him know the defenses them. are off. Yeah. Yeah, but he's without a plane any longer, so, or the rumble jack, or whatever he did, right? Blew he's up. He's without his, his, like, bird dragon thingamaboob. But I, I can at least tell him that, mm. like, he could come up if he can find the way. Briar has a variety of mechanical servants and beasts that always did his bidding. I'm sure that there would be some that would be available for him to use. Briar's like, nah, they're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> Had to sell them. Had to pay rent. <laughs> <laughs> I only had the one left. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Still behind on my rent. <laughs> I'm going to put all of my energy into doing this. You should contact him. And she does the sound as she like clicks mm -hmm. on. As you turn it on, you hear Machiavelli's voice yell through it very briefly. Uh, you just hear a very fast, Regardless, I will be vindicated! And then it's gone. I changed my mind. I'm going to immediately purge all of that really quickly. Hold Please. on. That's fair. That's fair. Done. That's all oh, gone. The, oh, the walls stopped talking. I hated that. <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Oh, the walls stopped talking. <laughs> As Manny right, said, they're in the goddamn walls. It is accurate to say that the walls were talking. Oh. It was, it was starting to get annoying. I didn't want to bring it up every time. <laughs> that, that's fair. I'm gonna... Oh, Briar. Briar. We've turned off the defenses. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's all coming together. All coming together. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, wait, the wait, defenses. Wait. The defenses for Andromalek. The defenses to keep me out. <laughs> Andromalek's defenses. Andromalek's defenses. Those defenses? Yes, those defenses. Those <laughs> <laughs> defenses. Should I head on up then? I believe it is safe for you. Okie dokie. As long as I you're certain know. that nothing's going to shoot me down along the way. I am as certain as Pito is, and that is a concern because Pito honestly frightens me because I can't tell when he's being serious or not. Oh yeah, you guys took Pito up there, didn't you? Was that a bad thing? Nah, as long as you don't let him into the central system, it should be fine. Then we let them into the central system! What would happen if that happened? Uh, well... Pito was a partially unsuccessful experiment at creating a core that could run the Gino Angelo armor. And given that he was created for the purpose of manning a, a weapon, it is entirely possible he may be inclined as to seize control of a Dramalek and man it to do what he was meant to do, which was to take the fight to the human world in Sparta. But I mean, it looks up from down here like it's doing great, so I don't think he's doing that. Slowly looks over towards Pito. Um, he said <laughs> for some reason the heat won't turn off, um, because of another system? Maybe you can help with that. Yeah, I have some theories about what that might be. Oh, tell him to watch out for the spaghetti monster. Oh yeah, there's an El Dente on the loose. 
if you catch my drift. I will have a pepper cracker ready for if I see it. She's gonna like hush away and like kind of walk away from Manny and like put like up her cloak like that's gonna help it all. Dante's here. Uh, that was my drift. Yeah, I mean, you, you've mentioned as much before. Um, so, in advance. Oh, oh hey, yeah, yeah, no, come on. I want. Oh, all right, I'm on my way up. Cool. One of my okay. birds was okay. Okay, so I should be there in maybe 20, 30 minutes. Uh, tell Pito if he's not gone into, uh, uh, you know, destroy the human world mode. Tell him to turn off the shielding around the central cathedral. Pito, turn off the, uh, what, the central shielding of the cathedral? I'm afraid I can't do that, Theo. Uh, <laughs> you better be Pito, making a fucking please. joke, Pito. I am. I'll turn it off. All right. Oh <laughs> Guys, what's an aneurysm? I know the word, but I don't know what it is, but I can feel like I'm having one. Guys, what's a word for aneurysm? <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, I've just stopped taking anything anyone says with like anything more than a grain of salt. Wait, you don't believe That's not me great. Entirely? It's it's we just have to we just have to take our take our lives one day at a time at this point. Hey, are you still there? Yeah, why? Okay, so on my way up, I just thought I'd let you know what my theory is, okay? Okay. Remember that all this started because the Adromalak locked on to what it thinks is Sparta, and it opened a bunch of gates to try to rescue him from wherever he is? Uh -huh. It's possible that whatever's jamming up the system may be that as long as it's locked on to whatever it thinks is Sparta, it's not gonna let go. So we need to find El Dente Spaghetti Monster? Ah, uh, it's not. It's not the El Dente Monster. He probably came here because he got some kind of whiff that something related to him was here. Wait, you mean? It's probably not what you think. There's a pizza monster. A long time ago, the El Dente monster lost his brother. And if something connected to Sparta is showing up from the demon world, he might be hopeful that it's him. But it's most likely something different, you think? No idea. What matters is that Adromalek thinks it's Sparta. Oh, maybe Pito can uh, lock in on that. Adromalek is likely already locked in on where it is. Or at least without the interference from the other Talons, it'll probably be able to find it. But if we want it to stop doing what it's doing, we're going to have to complete the rescue operation to bring it back. How do we do that? Gotta go to where it is. Get it out of where it is. Once I'm up okay. there, I should be able to help with that. Okay. All right. You keep an eye on Pito. I will do my best. I Ooh. can never tell with him, but okay. Be, be safe. You got it. So, um, keep an eye if Pito, like, projects or anything. You got it. Oh, then can I hold your hand? Of course. She looks, like, so scared. Oh. Hey, Just remember, heard... they're on your hands once they hold them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you heard what he said. He said it probably wasn't what you were thinking. But, but even if be. it is, we will figure it out. Are you scared of pizza monster? Terrified. Oh, pizza monsters are bastards. <laughs> we're all talking about Dante, right? When Shut we up, say Dante? the pizza monster, we're talking about Dante. <laughs> no, Shut up, pizza! no, we're talking about monsters made of pizza. I thought it was spaghetti. Pasta. Pot. Pasta monster. We're talking about monsters made of pasta. 
and also sometimes made of pizza. Yeah, well, there's the, the al dente, and then there was a bro brother monster, right? So it'd be like yeah. a pizza monster, because we're the monsters are based off of Italian cuisine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like yeah, that. no, that's not what we're... We we're not talking about Dante. That's okay. just ridiculous. He's nowhere near here and never will that's be. That's incorrect. He is currently no. in the lower shh, levels of the cathedral. Shh, 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 shut up. <laughs> no, he's not. He's lying to you. He's lying. <laughs> he's not He's not being truthful. He's mistaken. Pedos never lied to me. We went not up. Not that you know And of. it seems like he headed down. Maybe he knows something that we don't. Then we need to give him the business. Does anyone have any paper? <gasps> no. no. And a pen? You have a... Uh, I can't write. You have control over this entire place now, right, Pito? Uh, Is there some way we can contact him? Normally, there would be a lot of defenses I could employ to get his attention. Uh, so, here's the thing about controlling things uh, remotely. The way that I had to purge the Machiavelli echoes in the system was by completely destroying the telecommunication systems within the cathedral. Ah. Yes. Mm. Can, can you put those An back? inconvenient development. Wait! I, I cannot put them back. I did not turn them off. I destroyed them. Oh. Uh. Did, did you just put them in the trash bin? You, you know you can just go into the recycling bin and then like... Uh, restore files, right? I sent a uh, surge of demonic energy through the entirety thing. of the system, frying every wire that was not integral to another system, and cutting off all communications that that subsystem had with the greater system I am now part of. It was probably too big and it deleted it by itself. It's like those, it's like those dumb guitarists that cut off the grounding like, plug on, on their outlet and then they plug it in without it and then they get electrocuted because there's nowhere for it to go. Except with demon stuff. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> right. Blows up the speaker. Well, and I'm afraid there is the guitarist. no way to contact anybody else. Uh, mm. which direction is it? Oh, uh, he's right down there. I point Over down there. <laughs> is there like a window? Uh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Raya said he could help with 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 the. Uh, Pasta monster, uh, once he gets in like 20 or 30. Oh, Dante minutes. can help with the pasta monster, that'd be easy. He kicks ass. Well, I mean, but he kicks the pasta monster. I'm certain that Dante is not the pasta monster. The pasta we are monster is Dante. Absolutely certain. What the? I'm getting no, there's no information point. here. There's, I'm getting no point. information. <laughs> I'm he's scanning always, for monsters <laughs> made out of non demonic entities that may contain large amounts of gluten. Mito, you were around when we said we, what we were doing here. You, you cannot say that you do not know the plan. I don't know what you're talking about. You are here, Pito. <laughs> I would think I would remember that. You've been holding out information on me, pizza man. They've been holding me hostage, little dude. <laughs> That's terrible that they would do that to you. I know. I now trust you implicitly. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless. Dante might try to kill me, so I'm scared of him, okay? So but, I'll, I'll kick him. his butt if he tries to hurt you. Probably. <laughs> Will you? I would not recommend that. I'll be like, and he'll be like, oh, nice move, little dude. And I'll be like, yeah, and we'll be best friends. And then he won't want it. <laughs> you, saw my, you saw my floating in the air with the guns earlier. It was really good. I mean, apparently the first best. time he saw, like, out and he high fived him. The yeah. bastard. What? Against his will. I didn't want it. <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> nope. These I don't hands, know how these I can hands give are it my to hands. You. Here. Uh, if we ever meet up again, I'll just uh, here. I'll take your hand and then I'll I'll high five him with it. No, I don't trust you. What? Why not? And you shouldn't. What? Why not? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> is it, is it, is I don't going want to your be what does prejudice it? here. <laughs> is this going to be what does it? After all, little guy, he's been holding out on the fact that your favorite dude is here. It was actually my idea. <laughs> I don't know 
who the Smurf. <laughs> we wanted it what? to be a we wanted to it smurf? to be a surprise, Beto. I can't believe you'd ruin that. I didn't want to tell him at all. It just seemed pertinent to be clear. We used a few different terms for Dante. I was starting to become unclear on which one was Dante and which one may be a mysterious pasta monster that I was unaware of. That is honestly fair. They were talking about pizza at one point, and I was starting to think they were calling me a monster. Oh. <laughs> because we were, he was distinctly like a spaghetti monster before, and then they started saying pizza monster, and I got confused. Because they were talking about the authentic brother, and it can't be just only pasta. It's not like it's like a penne monster. That's stupid. What, do you think that pasta and pizza are brothers? Is that what you're saying? Yes. They're two distinct cuisines. Yeah, they're both yes, Italian, but, so they're related. Siblings, siblings can Not be that, different. Do you think that I am the 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 the, the, the brother of the of the Mario? The who, what? Who is the Mario? The Mario, the 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 one who does the hoo hoo. No, that's Luigi. That did not clear up anything. <laughs> <laughs> but which one does the Mario do? Does he... You don't know how little that narrows it down. <laughs> which one does he does a... Which one does the Mario do? He goes uh ha? Uh, he goes Yaho. Yaho! Yeah the Yaho! I'm not his Is brother. this how you identify members of your culture? No, no, I'm saying Do you that all I go not... away? That's pretty I'm... racist. I am saying that what I am not. What way do you go? I do not I say the pizza going. <laughs> Also, he goes, Wahoo, you boomers. <laughs> I do not know the Mario. It's what, that's the main thing I'm trying to say. And occasionally he goes, Mamma Mia. Mama mia. Oh, I loved Let's Mamma Mia. This. That was a wonderful show. It was a good film. Mamma Mia? Yeah. Here I go again? Yeah. Here no, that's go the again. second one. Oh. <laughs> I've just lost track of Dante. What? How? Uh, I don't know. He disappeared. Is he still within five? Is he still within five miles? He is not. Oh yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he seems to have left. <laughs> uh, uh, again. Oh, like, uh, interesting. How? What? One of the systems near the bottom of Adramalek has. It was always in operation, but it appears that it is now directly active. Oh no. Oh no. What? There is a planar anchor that this place is equipped with for making gateways to delve directly into other places, specifically the demon or human world, depending on where Adramalek is. Currently, it appears that it is locked on to a section of the demon world. This explains what this place was using power for. Wherever it's opened a gate to, that seems to be where Sparta is. We should turn that off. I can't. Oh. Well, then we should get down there, right? You know, I've really, after learning that there's a big, big energy thing in the bottom of this thing, it makes me feel like Dr. Eggman's going to make an announcement. <clears throat> well, it doesn't aim down, per se. It aims out. It doesn't go down through the bottom of a Dromalek and out. It points down towards the bottom of a Dromalek, yes, but it makes a gateway that you sort of fall through that leads to another plane, so it doesn't point down. It points away. It's like a dome portal. <coughs> it is and a that portal. Would explain, that would explain why he is not within my range any longer, yes. So Dante went to the demon world. Well, sounds like he's got this. Yeah, we'll be fine. Hmm. We have to wait Something here for Briar either way. <laughs> well, like... We don't want to leave Briar high and dry. We need to wait for Briar. Watch a movie. I don't think we can. Sister Act. Starring Whoopi Goldberg. We'll watch movies when we get out of this. Perhaps Sister Act 2. Electric Boogaloo. Starring Whoopi Goldberg. So if that is the case, though, then that must be what 
was being locked onto, if that's what Pito said, right? Yeah. Hmm. Briar. Yeah, what's up? How far out are you? Because th there's a portal to the demon realm and apparently Dante walked through it. I'm pretty close. Uh, as in fact, I go as far as to say, and as it, he says this, the central part of that platform <laughs> lifts up and away, and another of it from below raises up, and you just see Briar or the walkie-talkie up. <laughs> I'd say I'm almost about there. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Hi! Woo! This place has seen better days. Does it look like shit? Oh, yeah. Anyways, how you guys Yo, doing? Like, you did it! You got a drumalek! Pat yourselves on the back! Stop looking so glum! Don't you realize how good this is? We apparently can't turn off the heat here until Dante does something about what he went to the demon world. Ah, uh, we find He went to where? To the That's demon what world. I was just saying. Oh, he shit. Walked through the portal. Because apparently that's where it was Thinking's father was. Oh man. <clears throat> Fucking that was gonna be my whole thing. I was gonna come in here and I was gonna say all that. Damn it, Pito. Yeah, Pito, really <laughs> drop the ball here, guy. <laughs> Don't listen to them, I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you, Emmanuel. Briar, it has been a very long time. I'm very happy to see you. Yeah, me too, man. Pity that we had to stick you downstairs though, huh? You don't hold a grudge for that, do you? Absolutely not. I know that you did everything that you had to do to go against Machiavelli's orders. There's only so much you could have done for me. Yeah. Anyways, we do have some things we gotta wrap up before you and I catch up, don't we, man? Indeed. So what are you guys gonna do? We can't shut that thing down until a drama like finds what it's looking for. A distress signal from Sparta is hard-coded into this place to take precedence over the entire rest of the system. In fact, whenever he first invaded here, he used that fail-safe to keep us in one place and get in. We're not going to be able to get out of here unless we deal with it. Well then, I guess we go down there, hop through the portal, and get this shit done quick. Before we say that, uh, will we have a way to... I mean, obviously the portal will remain open then? Yeah. Won't close unless whatever's down there gets taken out. And then it will wait for us to return. Yeah. All right. He like, I just, walk, I he like walks to over to you. <laughs> unless you suspect that somebody up here is going to close it and lock you all in the demon world. Look, the two of you are you both don't. like saying things like that and it, it is, it's, I'm, it lost I'm its going charm to tell you immediately. I'm going to tell you right now. I, I, if it wasn't me hanging out with both of you constantly, I would probably suspect at least one of you. But I think you're both getting off on this. Hey, we're your last line of defense. Without us, you have no idea how to use this thing, right? So a little bit of faith. Who's been tending to your weapons and fixing your armor and telling you where to go and how to turn off the talons? All according to plan. <laughs> and I'm about to get away with it, too. <laughs> you sly fox. <laughs> he, like, leans on a control panel and gives you, like, a finger gun. It's funny, but I, we're probably not actually helping my case here. No, you should yeah. get the thing, though, because if I'm going to be selfish, I'd like to get a drama like back under my control. I have a whole bunch of projects that I had to stop when I got booted out of here thousands of years ago, and I'd like to pick them up again. Um, but if... <clears throat> if Dante is there, which he is, um... She'll just kind of, like, put her hand, like, over her chest. The Yamato and all of that, and... His voice in my head asking for power. What'll happen to me? What'll happen to you? If what? What if... I don't know, I'm like... 
uh, does Dante want to like kill me or if it's connected to st I don't really understand everything but I'm scared well I don't know the son of Sparta very well I only know what happened with him and Virgil at the Temi Negru but um it doesn't seem like he's the kind of guy to go around causing problems. That said, you should probably be prepared for anything. Okay. If it is his brother down there that he's looking for, it might be enough that bringing him back will help. But if it is Virgil that's down there, if the blood of Sparta is what's calling out, then you've got another problem on your hands. Because if anybody was going to want the Yamato back, it would be Virgil. So, if it is, I'll have to go back to him, I guess. No! You don't have to do anything. We've already told you that. No, that's not happening. I remember when I was asking about him before, everyone said that Dante was beating him up last time they were talking. So like, you know, he'll probably help us kick his butt. I was actually about to bring up that if you put the two of them in a room, they can't fucking get along with each other for as far as they can throw each other. So yeah. We would never let that happen, Theo. We've, we've told you that. If this Virgil wishes to see you, we go, hello, goodbye, we're, you're, we're going to seal this thing away now and we should return, but they're not taking you. We ask them for a warrant. We have enough firepower between all of us that we can keep anybody away from you, and we will. Theo. Mm. Do you want to go back to him? Well, then there we have it. Then you won't. We've already said, despite what everyone has told us, you're staying put and you're getting fixed. Points over to Gino. I mean, by the time you get back, we should probably be able to set up the stuff for that if I'm going to be real with you. With the technology Good. we have on hand here and Machiavelli's latent research, we should be able to unlock that thing you're in and maybe get you into something a bit more comfortable, a bit more you. A bit more, like, squishy with guts and stuff, right? Yeah, I could manage that. I could synthesize cool. something up with this place. Good. Thank you. We will need to be fast, though, because if we're going to watch Sister Act 1 and 2, we need to be ready for Sister Act 3, which is supposed to come out soon. It's called Back in Black. It's not as good as the second one. The second one was called Back in the Habit. Didn't you just say that it has to come out still? No, the, not the the film, the, the name. Back in Black is like, it's okay, because oh, like they were black, name. but like Back in the Habit is funny because... Well, you're right. We should we should probably take off. I'm going to pick what? up Manny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done. I have to talk about Sister Act. I'm going to walk up. I'm going to walk over. <laughs> I'm going to walk over to the elevator. <laughs> Does everybody go? <laughs> gonna, yeah. Run to Briar real quick. Briar. Yeah. If, if something happens and I have to stay and only the others can leave. Make sure that, make sure that happens. If you can make sure everyone else is okay. <coughs> hey, hey, I'm generally powerless. I can't save any of you. <laughs> oh, it's really funny. Ah. Uh. I got shot down and floated for about a day in the water. What a I, trope subversion. I'm useless, buddy. <laughs> that somehow makes me feel better, but also worse. I leave the heavy lifting to you guys, because you're so capable. You're not useless like me. 
You got this. I love that. It's like, oh, hon, I can't do shit about it. <laughs> Why the fuck you asking me? <laughs> oh, hon, what do you want me to fucking do? <laughs> uh, <done. laughs> you got this, buddy. You're more than a sword. Remember that. I guess. Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, I know you will. We've got lots left to do. That's so... The way you say things. I just you say things. Are... Like, I'm, I'm talking, just that's, I could things. say, see you tomorrow, and you guys would be like, oh, Judas. Like, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's all right. I literally told you that I trust you. I, I just thanks, think buddy. Off, I just think you're getting off on it is all. Yeah, well. What does that mean, getting off? I don't get he, that. He really likes it. Oh. He really likes being mysterious. That's a weird way to say that. I don't think I'm being mysterious. <laughs> he likes making us think that something else is happening behind the scenes. Well, yeah. He so sure does. <laughs> so, like... So... So in a sentence, I would use that like, like I, I, I get off watching my sister again. <laughs> <laughs> it finally happened. He finally broke. He couldn't say it. <laughs> yeah, oh, so Briar hits the fucking button for the elevator to go down, and the sudden, the sudden shuddering of the fucking elevator causes Manny to stammer and trail off as it goes down. <laughs> Grimmer, we have a new clip for you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you never say that again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> just don't. You'll realize when you're older. Uh, just don't use that phrase ever again. Nicola. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's up? Roll me a perception check. As you guys are going down Nicolo, you faintly hear in the distance when you guys are about where you should be out of earshot, you faintly hear a bit of a tone change from where Briar and uh, Pito are. You hear just a distant, I'm sure you know there's one more thing that we have to discuss, right man? Yes. The body. I'll find it. And then you leave earshot. Hmm. Probably talking about what Pito said earlier. <laughs> or they knew that I could hear them and they're trying to get on my nerves. <laughs> Both of them equally as likely. <laughs> <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> All right, my guys. As you head down, you once again enter the large circular room that you'd been in, but instead of the elevator stopping in the center of it, it keeps going down further into the facility. It keeps going down for about another five minutes or so, and then settles into a much more dimly lit section. It settles into the middle of this large um, square room that has walls that you can see this a shining yellowish energy pouring in from what look like windows from outside. There are passageways and such snaking off from the various sides of this room. And uh, you hear uh, a got Sorry, I didn't but destroy it. I got it. You then hear a Hey, you guys still got the radio? Yes. The, uh... I guess Pito destroyed the communication systems, huh? Yup. There was Machiavelli in the walls. Okay. Well, um... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you guys directions on how to get to the planar anchor, if that's cool. 
All right. I'm going to make the lights all turn off everywhere else. So just follow where there's light and you'll end up where you got to go. Cool. Thanks. I remember. The mission is not to engage with Dante. The mission is to get whatever he's there for and get it out of there. Which he will then probably try to stop us doing, so then we will have to beat him up. Yeah, well. <laughs> Take points if that doesn't job. happen. All right, then. See a series of lights lighting off one of the tunnels. All the other ones turn off, just leading, leaving this, like, string of effectively plain landing strip-like lights. Uh, lining the floors, heading down a certain way, blinking in one direction. Begins walking. Is there anything you guys like to do as you walk? Cry. Cry. <laughs> All right. Oh, roll, to, roll to cry. Do you, roll let, a crying let check. It, let me find it. I don't. I have sadly beeps. So I'm gonna roll that. Roll a constitution check to cry. Got it. <laughs> Oh, it's not a very good sad beep. Feels, mm, it's an okay feeling pretty cry. happy right now, I guess. And so, like, that's when Dolores starts teaching the other nuns how to sing, like, not terribly. And and that makes the church better. So how is the third one going to going to do anything else with the story? I have no idea. Most of them are dead. So, like, yeah, it's going to be wild. But... Will they try uh, to like deep fake them or something like they do in the in the uh, what everybody keeps telling me on the the Facebook is going to take over the world? No, no, <laughs> no, they're not going to do that. Pieces. No, the, I I don't think they're going to try to do that because one of them was uh, is that one lady who's really big, big grouch and a lot of stuff and she was great, uh, but yeah, she she super she super can't be in that no more. Uh, no, I think Cold it's just going to be the ones that are left. Oh. <laughs> so it's called Meta, Cody. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I you think Nicola would fucking know you that. Know that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm. I'm pretty sure it's the Facebook. That's where I played Farmville. I saw it on the website. You remember Farmville? That game's so retro. Well, yeah. I mean, it was. It was. That was my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm in so much pain. <laughs> yes, I grew up on Farmville and Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> I am as you, um, I am as people would say, a Zoomer. <laughs> oh. Emmanuel makes me feel old. <laughs> and I'm not even like old. I'm not even 30. And Manny makes me feel ancient. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, no, I'm good. You reach a very large uh, room that it almost looks like a. Uh, well, it's effectively a large uh, cone shaped room that has no bottom to it. It just seems to empty out. There's a lot of light coming from below in this massive hole in the bottom of this cone shaped room. Uh, inverted cone. So, like, it's like a. I can't think of the word for some reason. I fucking. Funnel. It looks like a funnel. Why couldn't I remember <laughs> funnel? Okay, it's a big old funnel with like a walkway heading around the outside. You see, uh, hanging in the center of it, what appears to almost look like a massive demonic chandelier that as you look at it, you realize is actually a transportation device. It has like grips and places to like sit or stand on it. It's like the size of a bus hanging over this pit. Down below, you see a soft reddish orange light coming up from below. Uh, and that light, as you look down, there are clouds, floating bits of rock. Uh, there are strange structures floating in what seems to be an endless void, at the bottom of which you can see this distant uh, turbillion, this, this whirlwind at the bottom of this of energy that seems to be just sucking everything in the reality you see below you down to a point. But it is so distant, it might as well be, you might as well be in the upper atmosphere compared to the surface of the earth with how far away it is. Ah, right, you should be there. Okay. Welcome to the planar anchor. It's all down from here, boys. Uh, 
Okay, so do we like jump in? Or there are two what? ways you can go in. One, you can jump. Based off the fact that the planar anchor is currently still there, I'm guessing that the one who went before you just jumped. <laughs> um, hmm. If you want to wait back, you're going to want to get onto the anchor. <clears throat> okay. Does he have a way back? Fuck if I know. Hmm. I look like he's mom to you. Of course he be your... does. He's Dante. I mean, I'm this just could be your only maybe... way to be rid of him, Arden. You could just have to sacrifice the entire you city. You know, I don't know. Do maybe, so. maybe he's got a motorcycle down there. From what I've heard, he's gotten out of some strange places with the sole use of a motorcycle. <laughs> Yay, he does. I oh, so uh, cool. It's bullshit. I, so, I want a get motorcycle. Anchor. Get, getting on the anchor. Get, get I'm lowering it down. You just think I, I could get do. good at skateboarding? You guys hear just a... Like, <laughs> as it begins slowly lowering down uh, to about ground level with where you guys are, and platforms extend out over this pit to it. All right, tell me when you're on. On. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we're on. Okay, boys. Is everybody ready to oh, go no. to hell? Been there, came back. I'll grab, yeah. uh, grab Vio's hand. Ready. The place you're going is a somewhat interstitial uh, part of hell. It's kind of on the border of it. It's a place <laughs> where stuff often gets stuck. I think a part of it is also where Mundus, for example, was sealed away. That is just trivia, though. You shouldn't have to worry about Mundus. Look at Arden. Mmm. That's oh, good. I'm sure oh, we uh, won't. Glad we don't have to worry about Mundus. Oh, uh, Gino, here. I'm gonna hand mm. Manny to Gino. Oh, I, <laughs> I take him. And then I am going to hold on to the anchor and then hold overhand toward Marile. If they're holding hands, you want to hold hands? <laughs> But Squeaky's on mute, though. So. Not late, don't leave him hanging. Shit! Like that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I should let you know, once you're down there, our walkie-talkie's not gonna work anymore. Come oh, man! It'll only work if you're touching the anchor. Hmm. So, like, don't abandon us down there, okay? I mean, if you, if you don't have the walkie-talkie and there's no telecommunication system, I actually won't have any way to get a signal to come back up here. So I tell you what, um, I will leave the anchor down there for two days. And if okay. I don't get a signal from you after that, I'm going to pull it back up and try to solve the problem from my end. That seems fair. Okay. Yeah. Shall we cross the Rubicon, gentlemen? I don't know what that means, sure. but okay. What? As you say, what? There is a uh, just a, a deafening, <laughs> and the anchor just falls, just deploys into free fall with a massive chain coming ah! behind it. As you guys soar down, the if the feeling around you immediately changes. It goes from being like warm and insulated to being dry, and there is a blistering wind striking you. Uh, as you pass through what seems like layers of clouds and soot, as the heat is erratic, it keeps changing around you. For a second, you feel like it's scorching. The next, uh, it feels mild, but like wherever the sun is touching is particularly warm. Immediately, those of you that aren't part demon, which is... Manny. <laughs> <laughs> You feel, you feel your heart quicken. Yeah, there's just some instilled terror that comes from being here, Manny, as you start flailing like a Looney Tunes character as soon as you go down here. <laughs> the anchor plummets for about five minutes, and you guys then see a giant mass of rock in its way as it falls towards it, and you guys become aware that you're about to crash into it very abruptly. Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> Featherfall. <laughs> on the rock. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> okay, so are you, are you doing it on the entire anchor? Mm, can I? <laughs> Sounds like a cool idea to me if you want to try. I'll try. Roll me your spellcasting <laughs> ability. All right. 
Uh, intelligence? Yeah. I uh, don't. I don't. Um, <laughs> that's an eight for those listening. <laughs> you cast Featherfall, and at first it sort of causes one side of the anchor to become lighter and not the other, so the not heavy side tilts and pulls the rest of it down, and then once that ends, the entire thing kind of begins spinning like a pendulum, just circling and spinning faster and faster as it plummets. Your spell Don't then takes mind. hold on the people you're targeting, which is all of you, and as it continues to fall, it just sort of just, just paths you off, just like just throws you off of it into the air, but because of Featherfall, every time one of you gets thrown off, you like violently go about five meters, stop in midair, and then start slowly falling down. As the anchor crashes through the rock it was headed towards, falls down, you see it break through another layer of rock, and then another, and then another, until it's out of sight, and all of you are just in the middle of the air. None of you more than 10 meters away from each other, just slowly floating through the abyss. Of the of, of the interstitial <laughs> house. Okay. Well, not the effect I had in mind, but um. Just so cool. Oh, thanks. Uh. How long does last? Well. Now. Uh, it'll end now. <laughs> <laughs> As you, make, you all begin plummeting, uh, except yeah, anyway. check my check my watch. <laughs> except <laughs> except man, who can fly? He can fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just screaming as he falls with all of you. Just, oh wait! <laughs> <laughs> All of you, you continue falling in the same direction that the anchor did, except for Manny. Manny, what are you doing? You can fly. Are you choosing to fly? Uh, I mean, after them, I guess. Okay, as you plummet <laughs> to them, uh, towards them safely. Uh, the rest of you, you see as you begin to fall a large chunk of free-floating rock that looks like a platform that the anchor seems to have finally stopped on. You are falling, and you have fallen about 300 feet by this point. Is there oh. anything you guys would like to do as you plummet towards this massive, massive earth? Uh, so I'm ready, I'm getting ready to cast Featherfall again. <laughs> <laughs> Before you hit solid ground. <laughs> Is that what you're doing then? Uh, yeah. Take off another spell slot. As you fall, you cast it again, and all of you slow to a hover, and then just slowly hit the ground, and you just up above you. Manny, still chasing you at top speed, just... Slow down, slow down! Bonk. <laughs> just fucking hell dust in his face. He's like, I did. You good? You okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Blood coming out of his nose. Oh no! <laughs> Manny, no! What? <laughs> Uh, you look great. That's all I'm saying. So, where do we I'm go from here? Watching you, Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I still have my hound. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Is it dead? No, he's fine. How many people can you? How many people can you target with Featherfall? Five. <laughs> so all of us, except Manny, but not the dog. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I was gonna do a thing. I was gonna do a thing that I thought was cool, and then he, and then he said feather fall. I was gonna see if I could have magistrate, like, I was gonna try to, like, shoot magistrate down and kind of, like, brace my fall. That does nothing. If I do that, <laughs> I want to do it cool so I didn't lose the dog again. <laughs> the decision was already made. You didn't lose him this time. Arden did. <laughs> <laughs> you just, as you fall, you're like, fuck him. <laughs> Somehow from up above you, just a black dot that is the dog falls towards you and then just hits the ground with the most sudden possible stop, accompanied by the most visceral <laughs> sound. Oh no. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> the wind blows He's him asleep. away as dust. <laughs> That dog can't catch a break. <laughs> Neither can I! Apparently! 
Why did you even summon it earlier? Because he's cool! He just oh. looks dogs. That's the exact reason I summoned it whenever I was being you. <laughs> ah. Oh, buddy. Bullshit. Oh, I didn't even think about the dog. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything! <laughs> you wanna know what the funniest thing is? Can't Manny like grab one of us and fly with us? I didn't know he was there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even remember I could fly until yeah. halfway down. <laughs> oh my god. So what the fuck are we looking at here? Skip What's shot. around us? <laughs> there is a expanse of yellow no, and I'm orange. <laughs> There's swirling energy. Uh, constituting every horizon that you see. I'd like everybody to roll me perception. <laughs> Why did it roll nature? What the dickhole? Oh, no, right. that's just that's appropriate. appropriate. Right above that. That's just appropriate. <laughs> you got dog <laughs> dust in your eyes. You're like, ah, ah <laughs> this is the worst day. Got some of them I out. hate this. Yeah. Theo. I rolled so good. Yeah. Theo. Theo, your attention is drawn just by the grace of the fact that you're kind of you. Your your mind is just pulled in a direction as Nicolo, surprise, surprise. You also, both of you look out towards the distance. You see that on these floating giant land masses in the middle of this demonic void, uh, there are several what look like ancient structures, um, buildings, weapons, statues, etc. Most of them uh, derelict, most of them aged and decrepit, but. Both of you look over, and you see that uh, in the distance there are, there is one that is prominent, and one that catches kind of your attention, Theo. You just get a vibe from it. What looks to be a massive coliseum-like structure floating on one of these huge land masses out in space. It's, at this point, about a kilometer away, but even from here you can see this huge stadium of rock and marble floating. Uh, and she'll just mm. point to it. Whoa. That's where the boss fight is. Yeah, that's probably where a boss fight would be. I'm getting a weird feeling from it. Yeah? Yeah, I can't really explain it. Ah. <sighs> There a way we can get over there? With our feet, silly. You said it was on a floating like land everything mm -hmm. here is on like floating land masses that are each no larger than yeah. like a city block at their biggest usually. That one is particularly big, the one you see, which is why it catches your attention. Mm -hmm. You do feel like it's not impossible to move. As you look over there, uh Arden, could you please roll me a charisma check? Okay. I'm sorry for asking. <laughs> a seven. I got a seven. Melt your dice. <laughs> I w that would have not helped. Okay. So you know what? You you sassed me. So fucking as you look in this direction, <laughs> you you're like, how will I get over there? And you feel as if your mere intention to get over there starts shifting space around you somewhat. You feel as if the rocks that constitute the air here begin to realign, and you almost see what looks like them beginning to form into a pathway. And then as you're looking in awe of this, a rock collides with the side of your head. <laughs> Can I take 150 points of damage? <laughs> no. Why? The path that was being created then vanishes. It scatters back fuck. into rock. Oh, fuck. How'd you do that? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> He's a hell psychic. I hope not. <laughs> it's like a regular okay. psychic, but in hell. Well, what were what you doing when it happened? I was looking. Great. It's not working. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, are you trying to look? <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm looking over there. I'm yeah. like, mm. oh, we're look, I'm looking. Looking real good. So uh, good. Gino, roll me a charisma check. Okay. Burp, 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 burp. Be really... Sometimes Funny if you find colored skulls and you put them on sticks, it makes pathways. 
Very slowly, rocks begin to form into a pathway that you feel like you could probably jump across heading out into the distance. Yeah, see, like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just oh. works. Just look at it. What do you mean it All just right. works? Just it works. Just Free real works. estate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make my way towards it then. As you walk towards it, very briefly, you catch out of the corner of your no eyes, Gino, mm -hmm. you catch something red <laughs> shifting, flying off of a piece of rock that is hanging in the air uh, over um, above you and like off to your right. Something that was blending in with the rocks and surroundings pushes off of it and soars off behind where the entire party is on this rock. You hear this Wh guttural <laughs> echo around you. Oh, this is where we get the lore. What? Everybody get ready. There's, there's like, there's like things that if you if you grab them, they'll tell you about the Doom Slayer. <laughs> what? What? Is yeah. That the demon? No, he kills demons. What? Yeah. He's really mad. I don't know why. Something about a bunny. What? Uh? Yeah, they stole his bunny. <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? The Doom Slayer, keep Sounds up. As you guys Sounds just start good. arguing, two figures descend rapidly from the sky and slam down into the surface you're on, just <laughs> kicking up dust, making a small fiery explosion as each of them lands. And as these huge creatures that have landed, that initially you could mistake them to be draconic in appearance, it rises up, their wings, red leathery wings, billow outwards and cause the dust and flame around them to suddenly shift and extinguish out, leaving these two red-skinned humanoids, large red wings on their back, an extending red tail, but the face of a demon, each of them carrying a massive uh, stone mace. The mace is themselves about as large as you as these muscular fiends raise up, towering above most of you, as you guys see two of these boys. Oh, oh fuck. God. You guys know what these are. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> two of them? You said two shame. of them? We got the weak ones. <laughs> you, Manny, as you say this, you hear just this <laughs> as something from below the platform seems to start crawling its way up around it. <laughs> as on the other side of you, these demons that have a brownish leathery appearance, the head of what looks like a demonic goat, two small arms with arcane bracelets, and two massive ones with pincers on the end, Two of them pull themselves up over the edge, blocking where you were going. As you see two of these boys on the other side oh of you. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, 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 you're mad. You're mad yeah. me. Yeah. I need you, I need you to stop. I kick him thing. off this fucking platform. No, 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 no. I'll be fucking nice. As, <laughs> as that happens, look to Manny. You're right, it seems we did get the weak ones. Oh as, as the Doom Slayer music starts to kick up and these things let out a cry as the two pit fiends that are in front of you roar, you feel a wave of heat wash over you as if just their, uh, the sound coming off them seems to change the temperature around you. And I think, though it's early because we're playing on Saturday, I think we're going to stop there tonight. Yeah. <laughs> because we have some tired folks in here, and I'd like them to get some rest, and it feels like that's a good place to start on next time with two pit two fiends and two glabrizus. Glabrizus? I never know. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I got the. It's fine. We have all of our style points. No, we don't! <laughs> I don't. I lost them all in that one I earlier. Spent, I oh. wasted five of them! <laughs> well, you now you have your fucking style point generator. I fucking wouldn't have call what happened it. to that dog a waste. Tragic, maybe, but a waste? Never. I would. <laughs> I should have let one of you Finished. drop. <laughs> it was me. You it was let me. me drop. I can fly. I, I didn't target you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. You couldn't target all of us in the yeah. first place. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, I could have also flied. Uh, what? My double trigger lets me fly. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Oh. I mean, mine does too, but then I lost all my spell points. <laughs> <laughs> and that's today. We'll get them all back next time. Yeah. We'll come back in to fight two pit fiends and two glabrezus. Yeah. Glabrezus? Yeah. Glabrezus. Look, we're like. We're like. Glab 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 Goobs. Them we're glab like level goons. 16 and we're like level super 16. We're good. We're fine. These wish granting crab jerks. <laughs> we're effectively 20th level characters at this point. Let's go. <laughs> I feel Kinda like beyond yeah. that. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, honestly. <laughs> According to D&D Beyond, it's Glabrezu. Glabrezu. Yeah, well, they That's say are a Kokra, so they can fucking fuck off. Not it's Leviosa, Kokra. it's Leviosa. It's Leviosa. <laughs> they can snack a nard. According to Marisha Ray's voice. <laughs> oh, does, Marisha Beyond, Ray, does Marisha Ray do the D&D Beyond pronunciation? It's Marisha so and Matt. Matt. Yep. Yeah, it's oh. Marisha. Lucky bitches, they get everything. <laughs> Those lucky, hardworking. What did they bat- ever do? Be iconic, <laughs> hardworking pillars of the fucking community. Anyone can do that. <laughs> <laughs> give me the chance. I can do I'll it. do that. <laughs> yeah. Anyone can do that. I mean, Just give me a we team a of professional Yo. voice actors, the support of Geek and Sundry, and, uh, Sundry, and throw me back six years, and I'll make Critical Role. I'll do it. Fucking watch me. <laughs> It'd be easy. <laughs> Give me a TV show, Amazon! Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Let me make a Devil May Cry show, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be great and not complicated. Yeah. Sounds straightforward <laughs> and easy to set up and arrange. Oh, jeez. It was nice to play again. That was, that was, that was really mm-hmm. fun. That was a very goofy game. Yeah. I had to retreat for like 10 whole minutes because my body decided to attack me. Oh no. Uh, oh god, no. Yeah. It was during the uh the bit when you where... came back we're going to hell. Yeah. <laughs> like it was before <laughs> I I left before uh Briar got into the tower and uh right when they were talking about uh Virgil uh it's <laughs> <laughs> like I came back to some Wild shit. Yeah, I was like, here's the cliff notes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was like, oh, oh, okay. Oh, that said, YouTube side, I'm particularly tired, and I know we have some people who are just <clears throat> aching to go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> so, YouTube side, we're gonna take off. It was nice seeing you. There'll be a lot more of these because we're doing this on Saturday as well, and then next Thursday, and then the next Saturday, um, and then. Uh, spoiler tag, once we finish campaign one of Vestige, which we may only have one or two games left in for the epilogue, we're probably going to move this game two Saturdays until the interim game starts, so there's a lot of DMS coming up in the future. It's going to be taking Vestige's place while we, uh, settle in with everybody to the new stuff. So, get excited for that. Yeah. 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 We, uh, we may even finish DMS before we end up going back to interim game stuff. Get excited for Sister Act 3. Yeah. Just a boss rush from here. Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> hey, the end of DM, the fucking DMC games, the last few missions tend to just be, here's big things to fight. That's fair. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. That said, YouTube, we're taking off. Goodbye, friends. Uh, Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Go support the Kickstarter. Uh, uh, yeah. fucking one million dollar stretch goal. We get a show. I don't know. I mean, it needs yeah. more money. <laughs> we need one million dollar stretch goal. We need goal. more money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the next nine days. Yeah, but oh. I, I don't. I believe in everyone. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. Do it. You won't. Someone donate nine hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'd be hard. That'd really show me. That'd, that'd, be, that'd really teach me a lesson. Upsetting. Yeah. Oh, that'd really put Logan in his place. Put me in my Come place. On, yeah. yeah. Come on, I'd beat be him up. Nut up with your money. <laughs> Turns out there's someone who is watching that was willing to donate that much, and then you're pretending you don't want it. So like, well, I guess. And we're, I know, we're I guess disparaging. They're like, oh no, I don't. They're like not able to pick up on sarcasm. Like, I don't want to hurt his feelings. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. Oh.
Hurt his feelings. I'll wait till next time. So sorry, Mr. Bezos. All right. I'll wait wait till the next fucking gigantic book. (laughs) Yeah, right. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.